Hi, welcome to John's Tech and Travel. Uh, today we walked about 4.3 miles, and that's uh, about 23 kilometers. And uh, you see, I just noticed that there's a sign behind me pointing uh, for Camino San de Santiago, and apparently it got uh, removed from the roadside that's right in front of me. Um, very pleasant walk today, not much elevation change, and that makes it kind of nice. Uh, the roads are hard packed gravel, uh, like a, a, a highway material, highway substrate material, with, a lo with loose gravel on top of it. In fact, I'm going to show that to the camera, and you can see the road. That road is Camino de Santiago for miles and miles and miles, and that's so that's what we were walking on today. At least it's small stones. Larger stones are much more difficult. And uh, the small stones, while they can be a bit bothersome, you find the, the best packed part of the roadway and you walk it. It hasn't been difficult at all for those 14.3 or so miles. Um, staying here, I'm, I'm just sitting on the edge of town and the town is, uh, is uh, Via Cadeza de la Cuera. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And it's a very, very small town. I believe the apps show that there are three albergues, but one is closed. And one is uh, uh, called Camino Real Albergue, and the other one is Al Canario, and I think I have that right. And we're staying at Canario, which is the private albergue. Uh, the man who runs it, Max, is just awesome. He is, <laughs> the guy has treated me like a king. And uh, just having a nice time there. We'll also have dinner with there. dinner there, and I believe let's see. So it was about maybe just over thirty euros. It was thirty-five euros per person with room and dinner, and that's not bad at all. If you stop and think about it, that in in uh, if you're from America, if you had you know like an average dinner, uh, you're probably still going to pay forty fifty dollars for that in today's world um, and uh, so that's really not bad for a room and dinner there aren't a lot of great selections uh, typically for the meals that we have they give you a list and the list is for the prima via the, the, the firsts and so in the first usually there's a mixed salad that's a choice and that's what I usually get sometimes uh, uh, there's a pasta that's thrown in there and a few other things and then for seconds, you get uh, choices. Usually they include meat. It might be some kind of fish, often hake, or hacky, however that's pronounced, a very mild fish. Um, that's what I had last night where we stayed, but tonight I'll have the chicken. Again, chicken's kind of a no-brainer, and it's uh, usually pretty well cooked, so you don't have any concerns there. There are a few other choices. Often it's like pork knuckle or pork loin meat, uh, sometimes veal, um, yeah, so you get some choices, and you, uh, when we sat down, when we, when we went in and registered, um, well, uh, uh, Max gave us the choice of having the meal, and uh, then he came out later and he found us, and he told us that we could uh, decide what we wanted to have for our meal, so we all just did that, then I came outside to do this, and I'm sitting beside a water fountain, um, very, very typical for Spain and for other parts of Europe. And uh, in this case, the side to the left is shut off, but the side to the right has a more modern faucet on. Probably in the day, and now they conserve water a little bit better. And under this bench, I'm going to put this down here so you can see this. Hopefully I can do this without dropping my phone. There is a sign that says, uh, oh, there we go. Agua potable. And so that means that you can actually drink this water. Uh, often on the Camino, you'll find a sign that says non potable. So you know that you can't, you shouldn't drink it. Not that you can't, but you shouldn't. And that's of course some concern. You, know, you do want to be careful that you're drinking good water. Pass up those ones that say non potable. Uh, at the very least, it's not treated water. At the very worst, it, they know that it's bad. But this is treated water here. You, you have that assurance. And so this is where we fill up our water bottles. Uh, this is what we drink from. And when it's really, really hot, that's where I stop and I put my, my bald head under the faucet to cool down. Uh, it feels great, by the way, in the really, really hot weather. 
Um, I don't have much more to say that the, the walking was very easy today. It got a little warm and tomorrow uh, we will, we did 14.3 miles a day and tomorrow we will do, I believe, close to 17. The day after that about 16.2 or 3 miles and the day after that 15.1 and that puts us into the city of Lyon. In Lyon we will stay for two nights and that puts us to Sunday, by the way it's October 11th right now. And on Sunday, uh, it's supposed to rain in Lyon, uh, half an inch, you know, so that's a considerable, considerable amount of rain. Uh, so we'll see what we can do then. Maybe we'll get out and see the city. Maybe we'll just hang out in the room and relax a little bit. Uh, either way, then on Monday, it's supposed to be lighter rain, and that's when we're walking. So I will see, uh, keep you posted about how all of that goes, but I don't expect any real problems there. We do have our rain gear. Uh, we're equipped for it, and we've walked in the rain before. So I'm going to roll the footage now for uh, for for that I've, I shot today, a couple little clips, and then I'll show you some pictures. I hope you enjoy it. Please show me you enjoyed it by hitting that like button, that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I would, pardon me, I would really appreciate that. And God bless. Buen Camino. So this morning in Carrion de los Condes, uh, as the bar was open there, we stopped in for some... When I say bar, I don't mean it's all alcohol. I mean, that's where you stop to eat. Um, the, the restaurant was open there, so Matthew and I stopped in there to get our coffee and some breakfast. Uh, and and the four, those, these gentlemen were there, four of them were there. And at the statue out front uh, across the street, as I was eating my breakfast outside, they were taking pictures of each other. So I walked over and I said, hey, could I take a picture for all of you? And two of them handed me their cameras. Carmen, who are? Going to be in a dust cloud here. <laughs> two of them handed me their cameras. And so I took pictures for them and they were very grateful. And one man who I'd met, I know he's from Salt Lake City, although I don't know his name, uh, gave me a little pin with a... a a dove on it, and I'll put that pic, that a picture of that pin here. Unfortunately, I didn't have the presence of mind to take a photo of them with my camera, my my phone. Uh, so unfortunately, I didn't get their picture. But uh, what a great group of guys, and a lot of respect to them. And I want to thank them for their service. Well, I've walked about 7.8 miles today, and it's uh, a little after 10 o'clock. I see ahead not far away there is a pop-up coffee truck i've been told or a food truck where you can get coffee and that's a welcome site we're in a stretch where uh, it's about 10 miles with no services so these types of things often show up and they're always very welcome to see i have plenty of water i have fruit for the day as planning on this section being kind of uh, kind of difficult and dry the uh this this stretch is um, very easy walking it's flat here and uh, it's pa uh, packed dirt with loose, some little loose pea gravel on top of it. Uh, not hard walking at all. A little dusty, but you know, it's a beautiful day. Uh, I just took off my jacket a few minutes ago and down to my, my sun shirt. Uh, rolled up my pant legs. I've got my red walking shoes on and uh, shaping up to be another glorious day. So looking forward to a couple days. We're going to be in Lyon and in Lyon we are going to uh, do a zero there and it looks like it's going to rain that day that'll be sunday uh it is october we're in the middle of hitting the middle of october now and uh yeah so uh we could use the rain probably the following day is supposed to be raining also as we will come out of leon but not very much rain at least that's the forecast for now so we'll see how that goes hey got to get to that coffee truck Hello. Ah, get a good view of this New Holland tractor now. <laughs> Closer than I thought he would be. <laughs> 